morning, everyone. How are you? Once again, meet Flash Phelps. Hey, thanks. Uh, Sirius, uh, Sirius XM Satellite Radio. Yep. Now, what is that? I always said 60s on 6, but it's... it's uh, It's been on for a long time. When I started this back in 2001, and I'm on 6 a.m. until noon, but that's only Eastern time. And because we're live nationwide, I'm on at 3 a.m. for the people on the Pacific. I'm overnights in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> that's I am the overnight in Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> if you're if you're going to Hawaii, I'm the overnight guy. Because <laughs> but, but, but here's what's he's he's on the air right now. We're doing yeah. our TV in between the breaks you're doing on now. Yeah, we're playing some songs right now. Up until COVID, you yeah. would drive you would drive down to Hailthorpe, get on a Mark train, yep. walk over to the Sirius XM studios. You may not know it, but Sirius XM is located in Washington and in New York. Right. But with yeah, COVID. It proved everybody you could set up a studio here in Harvard County. That was it. And do your worldwide radio show yeah. from here. That was it. I had to make sure I moved out. And uh, they said, go ahead and get home right away. So this is March. And then at the very end, they said, you want to come back to the studio? And I said, I'm doing fine here in Harvard County. Can I just stay here? And they said, yep, go ahead. And I can take this system around the country and then do it from hotel rooms. And wherever I want to be able to broadcast, I can go nationwide that way. That is it's really incredible. When you started in radio almost yeah. 40 years ago as an intern at the old WQSR in Baltimore. Yeah it, was, yeah, it was on Moravia Road. If you know that building over on 5200 Moravia Road, yeah. I was an intern, and they said, you can't start in Baltimore. You have to go to small markets, 17 different radio markets, and one of them was the U.S. Virgin Islands, who I worked for, a guy from Pikesville, Maryland. That is <laughs> That was my like Baltimore connection. That's how I got to the Virgin Islands. The guy was from Pikesville. And then yeah, you end up in. back here in the yeah. Baltimore area. Yeah. When you started, did you ever conceive of what no. you'd be doing right now? No, I just wanted to be nationwide. I said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go work at a radio station that's heard in every one of the states and just by covering different ones and work all over the country. And then finally, I got a call from my friend Art Volo, and he had a video of me from 1990 when I worked in Martinsburg. He showed it to these guys doing Sally Radio, and they said, what do you think of Sally Radio? I said, I don't even know what it is. They said, look it up. And I realized this was a thing that was in the future. So they they called me. I came to D.C. and it worked. Unbelievable. Now you're on WJZ. You're finally on WJZ. <laughs> I always wanted to be on Channel 13. I <laughs> love it. Well, I tell you what, we're going to let him get back to his live show. Okay. We'll join you again in another half hour, but it's a, a, a local gem in your backyard. A national radio show daily takes place from Harford County. Back to you. <laughs>